Welcome to the Everyday PM Podcast, the podcast where we discuss project management principles for your everyday life. My name is Ann Campia, and I'm a certified project slash program manager with over a decade of experience working for healthcare, retail, consumer goods, and tech industries. For this week's episode, we are celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, AAPI Month, here in the month of May. As you may know, I'm a project manager, but I'm also a Filipino American, and I wanted to talk about what it means to be a Filipina project manager. If there is one word to describe being a Filipino, it's hospitable. Filipinos are renowned for their hospitality. Whether you are a tourist visiting one of our islands or a family friend looking for a warm meal, Filipinos will go well out of their way to roll out the red carpet to ensure you feel welcome. Hospitality is embedded in the hearts of every Filipino. It's this natural ability to make guests feel welcome that makes Filipinos and Filipino culture outstandingly distinct. It is also why this trait lends well with being an effective project manager. The role of a project manager goes beyond planning, organizing, and directing the completion of projects. There is another layer that deals directly with people. According to ProofHub, project managers are generally responsible for the completion of a company's most important projects, and as such, they need to have excellent, excellent leadership skills, coordination abilities, and motivational skills. This includes leading a team and influencing them to achieve a common goal, often without direct reporting authority. When you consider the common traits of an influential project manager, two words come to mind empathy, and leader. In order to lead, you must know what motivates your team to march toward a common goal. Filipinos are hospitable because we care about people. So much so that we will sacrifice our own comfort and well-being on behalf of the feelings of others. I can't think of anything more altruistic than this notion. When you couple this practice with the role of a project manager, you get a combination for success. So why is it that we don't see more Filipinos in project management? Well, according to Zipier, Asians are the third most common ethnicity among project managers at 8.1%, compared to 70% white and 12% Hispanic or Latino. Even more interesting is the fact that only one third of project managers are female. Perhaps it's because Filipinos are driven to take up actual hospitality roles or cultural norms play into Filipinos' belief that the best way to help others is to take up roles that specifically fill this need, like nurses or doctors. Whatever the case may be, I hope that even though I find myself once again in the minority, that there are Filipinos out there listening to this podcast who are making the same connection I have. I have never truly considered how my culture and beliefs would have a direct impact on my ability and skills to lead as a project manager until I started to recount my greatest achievements to date. Most involve putting the needs of others or of the project over my own because it's the many countless hours that I've spent trying to problem solve other people's problems that may impact the team or the project that in turn become my problem because I am the project manager. Or it's my passion to find more effective ways on how to do things like execute work because in doing so, it alleviates any burden or pressure from the team that plays an important role in completing the project. It's this type of thinking and doing that way into my strengths as a project manager, and I can't help but be proud knowing that my culture has a lot to do with it. That will do it for this installment of the Everyday PM podcast. Thank you so much for joining me in this special topic, what it means to be a Filipina project manager celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Thank you for celebrating along with us and giving this special topic a listen. You can listen to this topic as well as other topics by hopping onto any of your podcasting platforms, whether it be Google Play, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, you name it, search for The Everyday PM, give it a like, give it a comment, 
give it a thumbs up, whatever you need to do to make sure you spread the word about the podcast. You can also watch this video version on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Ancanthia. While you're there, click the bell for notifications on when new content goes up. And you can also like and subscribe to the channel and leave us a great comment on what you thought about this week's episode. Again, that will do it for me in this installment of The Everyday PM. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, Mabuhai.